Today I will show you how to connect to PostgreSQL that we installed in the previous video. Specifically, we will focus on connecting to PostgreSQL using the command prompt. If you have installed the database on Linux or Mac, you can follow the same steps using terminal since the process will be the same. As we install PostgreSQL on Docker, the first step is to start Docker. The simplest way to do this is through the Docker desktop app. Simply locate the Docker desktop app and click on its icon. This will start the Docker instance on your system. It might take some time. There you go. Once the Docker instance is up and running, the next step is to start the PostgreSQL container. In this step, we will be addressing a container named Postgres underscore IMG which is the name I assigned to the container while installing PostgreSQL in the previous video. This name could be different in your case. There are two ways to start this container. First, using the Docker desktop app. Simply select the container and click on the start icon. There you go. Second, using the command line interface like command prompt or the terminal. Open the CLI and write Docker start and the name of the container which in my case is postgres underscore img again postgres underscore img is the container name which we want to start press enter and here is your container up and running leave a comment and let me know what name you assigned to your container the default command line interface provided for working with postgresql is PSQL. To connect to PostgreSQL, we will use the PSQL interface. Let's connect to our PostgreSQL. First, open up your command prompt or terminal and write docker exec dash it and the container name which in my case is postgres underscore img. And then the PSQL, which is the CLI, which we will invoke. Dash capital U. And then the username, which will be Postgres. Let me explain you this command. The docker exec command is used to execute command within a relic docker container, followed by docker exec we have dash it option. This is a combination of two options that are used together. Dash i tells the docker to allocate sudo tty for your command and dash t tells docker to create interactive terminal session. Together these options enable you to interact with the command that is being executed inside the container. Then we have postgres underscore img which you know is the name of the container with which we are trying to connect. Next we have PSQL, the default command line interface that comes with Postgres. We need to invoke it to establish a connection with our PostgreSQL database. Followed by that we have another option which is dash capital U. Mind here it is a capital U. Using this option we pass an argument to PSQL command. That argument is that the username using which we want to connect with the PostgreSQL which in my case is Postgres. Postgres is the default super user for a PostgreSQL instance. If you want to connect as a different user, you can replace Postgres with the desired username. Now let's get back to our command line interface. Here we are. Now press the enter key and run the command. There you go. You have successfully connected with the PostgreSQL. You can test if you have done it right simply by writing any command. Let's say we want to check the names of all the users. For that, simply write backslash d u. This is a meta command. This will show you the names of all the users that are available on your server. Currently, I have only one user. That concludes this tutorial. 
In the next one, I will demonstrate how to connect to PostgreSQL using VS Code. Stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching. This is Manish from rebellionrider.com.